is ignited. At T minus five seconds, the port and center CBC engines are ignited. Then, after seeing the Delta IV heavy liftoff, you'll begin hearing flight commentator Rob Kesselman providing launch vehicle ascent data. This is Delta Mission Control. The countdown clock has resumed and we are go for launch at 325 and 30 seconds Pacific. With liftoff approaching, we're going to raise the volume on our launch team so you can hear the final preps taking place. Three oh seven. Two forty nine FPS internal. CBC locks at flight pressure and flight level. CBC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. Two minutes. 159. Vehicle internal. Hydraulic pressure at 4,000. 155. Launch sequencer start. One forty. FCS launch enabled. One thirty seven. T minus 90 seconds. The launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, and Western Range are go for launch. 120. LCU's arm. FCS count started. One minute. Engine Starbucks, minus go. One minute. Rock, report. Range status. Rock, range green. Roger. 50. Second stage LH2, secure at flight level. 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go NROL 91. Fourteen point five. Roughly ignition. Ten. Tester start. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. 
seven, six, five, four. We have ignition. Two, one, lift off. and liftoff of the last West Coast United Launch Engine Alliance four, Delta IV Heavy Rocket carrying NROL 91 for the National Reconnaissance Office. Vehicle has now begun the pitchover maneuver. All three RS-68 engines look good at this time. Core booster is now throttling down at the partial thrust level. And that core booster We're has now the reached the desired of Rob Kesselman thrust Providing launch vehicle ascent data. The parameters continue to look good. Vehicle is now three miles in altitude, five miles downrange distance, traveling at a velocity of 1,000 miles per hour. Engine parameters continue to look good at this time. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic. Port, starboard, and center RS-68 engine parameters are within the expected operating parameters right now. The second stage reaction control system pressurization valve has opened. Delta IV now 130 seconds into flight, flying at an altitude of 19 miles, downrange distance of 14 miles. Delta IV has gone closed loop guidance. Vehicle body rates are as expected. Three minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. Delta IV rocket weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellants at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. One minute in port, until port and starboard booster engine cutoff. We've had strap-on booster cutoff and strap-on separation. The center core RS-68A is now throttling back up to the high power level. The upper stage lock system has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL-10 engine. One minute remaining in the booster phase of flight. And now the upper stage fuel system has begun the boost phase chill. Core engine chamber pressure continues to look good at this time. Core booster is now throttling down in preparation for BICO. And we have BICO, booster engine cutoff. And we have stage separation, so successful separation of the first and second stages. And we have pre uh, ignition on the DCSS.
This is this Delta Mission, mission Control mission. at T plus 6 minutes and 30 seconds. We just heard flight commentator Rob Kesselman confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. At this time, we'll end our live coverage. For more information about the Delta IV Heavy Rocket, please visit ulalaunch.com or join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Caroline Kirk. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. And before we leave you, let's take another look at the final West Coast Delta IV Heavy launch. Roll for ignition. 10. Test or start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We have ignition. 2, 1, Best and. Off. Liftoff of the last West Coast United Launch Engine Alliance Delta IV on. Heavy Rocket carrying NROL 91 for the National Reconnaissance Office. Vehicle has now begun the pitchover maneuver. All three RS-68 engines look good at this time. <laughs> 